Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this PyScript tutorial, we are going to learn how to embed a matplotlib plot, how to display a matplotlib plot on your PyScript web application. This is quite simple, rather simple than what you might have expected. So the first step is quite simple. We're going to, as usual, we're going to have a basic HTML skeleton. We're going to have head. Inside head, we have got the title. Title, I'm, I'm just calling it matplotlib with PyScript. Then we are loading the required components. One is the CSS, the second is JavaScript. Next, in the environment management, which is our py env tag, we are going to say we want matplotlib. This is important for us to tell PyScript what are the libraries that we want. So even if you want to use NumPy, in this case, I think I'll be using NumPy. Matplotlib is enough because matplotlib also imports NumPy. I mean, also installs numpy so you if you if you just install matplotlib that is fine but it is important for you to tell pyscript that you need matplotlib and that is what this section of code does at this point we are closing our head so our head is finished and next we are heading into our body tag so before we head into body tag let me open my live server and then show you how does this look at this point when you see there is a title that says matplotlib with PyScript, but you wouldn't see anything because our body tag is still empty. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just show you the main part where we are going to display the part, so, uh, chart, plot. So first we have a title that says nice output. You can see the same nice output is here. You can, you can change it to anything. Maybe you don't want it P, you can say strong, and then you can make it strong, which means it's bold. So nice output or a matplotlib output, I can call it matplotlib output. So we have got matplotlib output and then it's it's a bold um, font. It's in bold font, strong. So next we have got a placeholder image. Right now you wouldn't see this thing, but it is there. You have got a placeholder where you want to display the plot. That is the plot. So at this point, our front end is successfully done. So now what we are going to do for our back end is, we're going to open PyScript and we're going to say, whatever the output of this is has to go inside this output div the element id which is plot so we are basically telling pyscript that do whatever inside this but the output of this should ideally go inside this id which is plot where you have got a where you have given a space so now what what how does it look um how does it look like that so you you can you can basically do um, a simple matplotlib chart so for example, let me close this. You can see that we have got a very simple matplotlib chart um, that says import matplotlib, import matplotlib.pyplot. This is just right out of the documentation. I've just taken this from the documentation and we are creating some, um, some random numbers and then we are creating a sign plot and then we are going to plot that. So the main thing that you have to note here is you need to have fig figure and axis and then finally, by the time you finish everything, you have to call the figure. So this figure is actually going into this plot, this, this ID, this ID plot. So this figure, whatever you give here, it actually ideally goes back to matplot, this, this ID plot, because you're calling it as an output and then this goes inside this. So let me, let me, let me just make it um, H1. I can say H1 and I can call it mat matplotlib in pyplot sorry py script and i'm going to save it and at this point i'm going to invoke my live server for you to just see what is happening so you can see matplotlib with py script is your tab title like this title and here you have got an h1 tag that says matplotlib in py script and then you have got the actual plot in itself so it says um about as simple as it gets folks so you now you can you can change the title so i can say um, subscribe to one little coder and then i can save it and then you would ideally see that coming um, and you, you you can ideally see that as well so right now you can see that it is loading this is a splash screen while PyScript is loading you would see the splash screen but once it is done you can see subscribe to one little coder that is available now the opportunities are unlimited like you you can you can collect an input here instead of generating a random number you can connect collect the input from the user or you can even in fact give a button click that would uh, randomly generate a plot every time for example instead of having having 
just like this what we can do is we can enclose everything all of this inside a function and then you can call the function and whenever you call the function um, you can make it um, make make it refresh you can you can do that you can do that using DOM manipulation that we learned in a couple of videos back or you can even use event listener for that and which I'll uh, I'll cover soon but the bottom line here is it's quite simple for you to use matplotlib in um, in PyScript and the way you do it is first thing you have to tell Py, PyScript environment that you need matplotlib so that is the first thing this is almost like YAML um, you just have to use dash and then use the library name so first thing you need to say this is almost equivalent to you know that um, installing installing the library in um, or mentioning the library and requirements.txt after you do that you need to have a placeholder you need to have a place like if you for example if you do not have this or if you have a different name for example if you call it plots this wouldn't ideally work because this is trying to look for plot and then you have a div named plot so this wouldn't ideally work um when when this runs you would either yeah you don't see anything why because the placeholder that you created is plots and you are telling your Py script to output. You, you're telling the Py script to take the final output of this. Imagine this is a function of what, what you're returning. You're telling Py script to take the final object of this and then put it inside plot while there is nothing called plot. So you, all you need to do is you need to call plots and then it would it would it would be there. It doesn't matter what all components that you have got. For example, maybe I've got a, I've got an H2 tag and um, I've got an h2 tag and then that says using py script and then maybe I can I can have furthermore I can have anything that I want like for example I want a button so sorry I wanted a button I can have a button there and I can I can basically have anything that I want and um, this this plot would appear exactly in the same order for example if I want to give some text um, let's say I want to give the same thing as text here after the script I can still have them I can still have them and then you would see you would see these things but once it is loaded you would actually see the image in the middle because why we have got the div plots in the middle so once this is loaded you see matplotlib and PyScript at the top using PyScript as the second line and then you see the plot and then you see matplotlib in PyScript and then you see this thing so the the, the the step important step is you design the front end in such a way that you decide where do you want to put a plot like even if you want to use like a table and then put a chart inside it you can you can still do it and that's where you keep this placeholder and make sure that you use the placeholders id properly and then use that id as output of the pie script and then yeah of course uh, of course of course you have got it ready and then you can you can finally whatever the output of this is it ideally goes back to this and uh, just to just to also let you know that uh, you can try to use c bond charts as well like this like right now we have used matplotlib chart but you can you can do um, I, I i think you can do this with the c bond as well the main thing that you have to notice is this so after you have before you generate the plot make sure that you you set the layout you've got the figure and axis with plot subplots and then finally after you finish everything um you know maybe you don't want grids after you finish everything you just call fig uh, at the end so that the figure is sent as an output to this id and in that particular id wherever you have defined this this plot would be displayed i think this is uh, quite a simple uh, tutorial fast tutorial for you to learn how to display matplotlib chart uh, like i said you can couple this with button you can couple this with text area anything that you want i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to display matplotlib charts in your PyScript web application if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video peace